Okay, everyone, places, places. Oops. Action. Is there nothing he cannot do? Yes. Carl Fredrickson is an old man who's lived alone for a number of years after his wife Ellie unfortunately died. They grew up together and grew old together, but never got to accomplish their dream of living on Paradise Falls in South America. And now, some corporation is trying to bulldoze his house and put up whatever skyscraper or chain store they can, but Mr. Fredrickson has other plans. Using his lifetime knowledge from being a balloon salesman, he's fastened thousands upon thousands of helium-filled balloons to float his house to Paradise Falls and fulfill their dream. As he takes to the skies, it looks like nothing can stop him, or at least delay him, except maybe a young wilderness explorer named Russell, a talking dog named Doug, and a large bird that Russell calls Kevin, whom someone else on the island is very interested in catching. Will this unlikely band of misfits make it to Paradise Falls and keep Kevin safe? Despite its premise, Up is a great animated movie. Not just because it's a Pixar movie, though that counts, and not just because it won a Best Animated Movie Oscar, though that counts too, but because it's the first Pixar movie to handle real-life themes for adults while still pulling off being a fun kids movie. There's something for everyone here. Let's get it out of the way first. This is a Pixar movie. We don't need to talk about the dialogue because it sounds great and it's funny, though the prune jokes do get a bit old toward the end. We don't need to talk about the way it looks, because it's a Pixar film of course, so it looks beautiful. What we will talk about, however, is the characters and the plot, and how they come together to make a great movie for everybody. Let me ask a question. How many films feature an elderly person who just lost someone as the main character? On top of that, how many animated films feature a sourful montage that shows two kids growing up together through all their trials, growing old together through all their happiness, and finally, ending when that someone is lost? I would say none, or at least none that do it with the same meaning that Up has. The fact that Up has an old man as its main character, and to experience that montage almost right off the bat, sets it apart from any other animated movie. And yes, I did cry my eyes out at that part. Despite the sad beginning and main character that will shock adults that are showing their children, the film goes on to become a good mix for both children and adults. It displays real life problems like death of a loved one, divorce not realizing a life dream, but also throws in crazy fun characters like Doug the Talking Dog, plus a bunch of other talking dogs, of course, a house that floats by balloon, which I think is pretty fun and original, and a colorful fun adventure. Children will be watching to see young Russell finally get his badge for assisting the elderly, and adults will watch to see if Carl will fulfill Ellie's dream. And of course, both will be watching to see the many other layers and subplots come together, which they do, fantastically. The only real problem that I can find with Up is with your suspension of disbelief. How much will you be able to tolerate? Will you be able to take real life problems and scenes and mix them with talking dogs? Some people aren't able to. However, if you keep in mind that this is an animated film and therefore for children, you shouldn't have a problem suspending your disbelief even though the antagonist is probably 40 years older than our main character, which would make him, what, 120 something? Or the fact that Carl has a walker through the whole movie, but toward the end of the movie, he doesn't seem to really need it as he's jumping around with the agility of a fox. You'll be asking yourself several other questions, but like I said, keep in mind, this is an animated film. So if you're tired of children's films that don't appeal to adults in the least bit, give up a try. This is definitely a great movie for young and old. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? No. I could help you cross the street. No. I could help you cross your yard. No. I could help you cross your... No. Ow. All his life, Carl Fredrickson dreamed of adventure. Today, his adventure is finally taking off. Please let me in. 
No. My master made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! Hi there. <sighs> ah, what is that thing? Oh, it likes me. Shoot. <laughs> oh, I'm beating. <laughs> ah. Whoa, what is that? Get him. With my Wilderness Explorer GPS, we'll never be lost. Oops. Disney Pixar's Up. What do these do, boy? Hey, would you throw that crowd up and think I use that collar. What Hashiwa Hanashima to talk with? I would be happy if you stopped. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Oops.